Miller, clocking up the points. Riser, I'm going to catch one soon, honest. Um, he's had a couple of bites, well, liners. Uh, but I'm sure he'll uh, be in front of this camera soon. Seeing as it is his YouTube, it's a bit embarrassing. I'm Brian College, and in my spare time, I fish Northwest UK waters in search of a double figure car. Spending hours on the bankside striving to get you the best fishing content. I'll bring you fishing with my family and with my friends and also with the mighty chat. Yeah, welcome to Aquatic College. Well, good morning, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Bry, and today I've got a special guest. We have got the mighty David Savage, or David Savage Fish Savage. So yeah, today we're at Partridge Lakes, we're on Holbar Lake, and we're having a competition in the pouring rain. And uh, yeah, today is gonna to be based on the total weight. Yes. Yeah, so we've been here since, Half seven, it's now half eight. Um, David's caught one roach so far, um, which you'll see now. So, not been in the water long. Caught this little little roach on the near side margin. Uh, I've not blanked, but I'm hoping for a little bit bigger than this today. <laughs> How much does it weigh? Uh, 0.6 pounds. It's but not every little you know counts and yeah. that might be the difference at the end and speaking of little i've not blanked either because when i netted savage's fish I've got a little tiny i think it's a green could be a green so i've not blanked either well if you can see that there you go so so david's not blanked and uh i've not blanked i wouldn't count it but yeah. you know Hopefully, Sometimes. hopefully this is not the biggest one for me today, so yeah. I'll put these back now, and uh, hopefully we'll see in a bit. And yeah, that's where we're up to at the moment, so keep on watching, and hopefully we'll bring you lots of carp, mainly from my peg. So, see in a bit. So today I'm on peg 16. David. Come out the way. Good cast, mate. So yeah, today I'm on peg 16 and my right hand rod I've got up against these reeds. It's normally a good spot. And my left hand rod I've got over here in that little alcove. So this is peg 16. Um, normally the right hand rod's really prolific, so. Keep on getting liners, drop backs, but uh, nothing yet. And this is David's peg, which is peg 17. And is your right hand rod in the margin? Uh, no, both out far. Both out far, whereabouts? Um, about 
three foot away from the reeds. Right, okay. So the Davids are all across here. So fingers crossed. I fished here a couple of weeks ago and the hot spot is over on that side, but I've not told David yet. But that's the hot spot, so over. Zoom in. See nothing of that bit there. Can't see it now, zoom out. Over there, that's the hot spot. That's the hot spot, David. Maybe I'll try that one. Yeah, it's just over there. This is peg 17. I'm on peg 16. Well, David's in. They come off? No, no, it just swam towards you. So, a little bit wet, just using this towel to keep the air dry. And uh, you wouldn't believe it. It's the world famous savage fish. Uh, 1.1 pound, I think. So, we're getting there. You know, not quite the carp that I'm after. But, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, we'll get it back. More. I've always been confused when I'm car fishing because it's overcast, rainy, really warm. You think it'd be perfect for car fishing, yet my swim was completely dead. The spots I get, I normally get fish, but nothing. David, on the other hand, well, he was in again. So, got first carp of the day. What was it? Five pounds? Five three. Five three, uh, so not not a bad start. Nice um, common. Um, pretty happy with it. Got my line tangled as I was uh, reeling it in, so that was a bit eventful. But Brian helped me out. So yeah, lovely fish. Gonna get it back and um, hopefully get some more. Oh, would you believe it? He's in again. So, not long after getting my rod back in, whizzed off again. A nice mirror, 5.8 pound this time. Yeah, yeah clocking up the points. Bryce, I'm going to catch one soon, honest. Um, he's had a couple of bites, well, liners. Uh, but I'm sure he'll uh, be in front of this camera soon, seeing as it is his YouTube, it's a bit embarrassing. But, uh, right, we'll get this back in and uh, crack on. He's only just put that fish back. And he's what the Got the weight of it back. Yeah. Got the weight of it. To savage right well they all come at once don't they like buses but this time just a little roach believe it or not it's actually 0 0.9 I can't believe that to be fair you're on 13.7 now I'm on 13.7 what are you on Bri? Uh, zero Ah, zero. No, you got that little one. What was that? That didn't count. I think he's on five grams. I think <laughs> maybe. But we'll get this back, and then we'll uh, we'll plow on to the next one. They didn't even know. He's got another fish. Another bream. Oh my word! That's a big bream. So, got a slightly bigger bream. 2.8 pounds? Yeah. 2.8 pounds? I'll tell you what, for such weak fish, they pack, pack some pounds they do. But yeah, Bry's got a fish anyway, so we're going to crack onto his.
it's 11 o'clock and finally my rod's gone. And I've got a common carp, exactly nine pounds. <sighs> so relieved to actually get off the board. Stunning the fish. That was on the right hand side, up against the reeds. So yeah, finally off the mark and uh, hopefully there's plenty more to come. Well after that action my swim went dead again. I think the ducks knew that my rods weren't going to go because they decided to fall asleep right in front of them. The rain has stopped and it's getting a bit warmer so I'm hoping that this turns the carp on. You got one on? You've not moved your thing over yet, have you? Oh my word. That's going to give you another three pounds for that. For that minging bream. So, it's been a little minute. It's gone a bit quiet. Um, but, I'm now back. Once it stops flapping round. With another savage fish. Unbelievable, Jeff. Uh, but I think this one's 2.7 pounds, so just yeah. adds a little bit more to you're my on, um, leaderboard. You're on 19.3. 19.3 pounds. And I'm on 9. And Bry's on 9. To be fair, it was a nice 9, but you know, he's, he's been a bit quiet. Uh, but I promise it, he'll be on the camera a bit more this afternoon, hopefully. Um, but I'm going to put this back and um, cast my rod back out. Felt massive. I'll take it though. No, I don't think I kept that on. That must have been so well hooked. Well, all afternoon I've been struggling. Lost one in the reeds before. I've cast it in the reeds several times. Finally, my rod's gone, my right hand rod. Went back into the reeds, fought it for a while, finally got it out, and I've got a nice little common. So, 3.1 pounds. Not the biggest fish, but considering how hard it is today, I appreciate it. So yeah, just as I've caught this one, David's just caught another bream, is it? Yeah. Another bream. So, it's over to David. Well, just as Bry caught that carp, I've caught another savage fish. Only 1.4 pounds, but keeps an add into the tally, so I'm happy just to try and keep some distance away from Bry. Hopefully I can catch a bigger fish now to try and really help me relax a little bit. Get this one back. See it? Margin. Well, as you can see the sun's come out I swear it is the same day it's now four o'clock left hand rod's gone that I've had in the margin and uh, I've got a roach uh, 0.8 of a pound which gives me a little bit more weight I'm trying to catch David up I think we've only, probably only got an hour or so left maybe two hours but yeah, it's uh, not what I wanted, but uh, after today, it's a fish. So yeah, I'm gonna put it back now, get my rod back in the margin, and uh, hopefully the carp will start coming in now that it's starting to get a little bit late, and uh, 
I say it's cooling down, but it's actually getting hotter. So yeah, but right now and uh, try and get some more. Well, finally, Savage is in. Might be a bream. Oh no, that looks like a carp by the swirls. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Well done, mate. Well, after a long wait, we finally have another carp. It's five o'clock now, only about half an hour left. And this one's weighed in at six pound, made up to get another carp. I've been waiting a while, that's for sure. So I'll get this back and get my rod back in and hopefully catch another one before we go. While well, the sun seemed to get even hotter and the bites, they just stopped altogether. From when I caught that nine pounder, I thought the comeback was on, but it just wasn't enough. This felt worse than losing to Italy on penalties. Well, that's it. Half past five, the match is officially over and the scores are, I had 12.9 pounds and David had 26.7 so it was really close there was only just under 14 pounds in it which is really only about three fish so yeah I lost again um, deja vu from this time last year where he annihilated me again so yeah any uh, any final words David? No I'd just um, like to um, say thank you for letting me come and beat you again. It's yeah, really, my, my, really my pleasure, yeah, it yeah. was my pleasure, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so that's it. I'm, uh, I'm going to fish on for an hour and a half to try and redeem myself and uh, catch another fish. So, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks David. Appreciate it, yeah. Uh, I'll uh, look forward to next year's Whooping. rematch. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> It's always the way. Whoever I'm fishing with, whether it's David, whether it's the mighty Chad, as soon as they go, I start getting bites. Only a small common carp. Two pounds. Nice fish. But it's come five minutes too late. Well, my optimism was short-lived, because after that carp, the only thing that was feeding on my swim were these cheeky little ducklings clearing up my ground bait. Overall, it was a really nice day. Even though the weather wasn't the best, we both caught carp. I was actually glad that David caught more than me, because he doesn't get out fishing very often. So as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you'd like to leave any comments in the comment section, I'll answer them all. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.